Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. My next Buzz pick for this November night is one which received very little play when it was released back in 1951, and very few people seem to know it today or have even seen it. It's a movie called The Tall Target, and do stick around because I, I think you'll be both surprised and highly entertained by it. It stars Dick Powell. Long after he'd stopped singing to Ruby Keeler and Busby Berkeley musicals in the 1930s, and singing to Mary Martin and Paramount musicals in the 1940s. By this time, the early 50s, Dick Powell had totally changed his screen persona. He was now usually playing very tough guys in film noir movies. Well, in our movie, he's a no-nonsense detective on a train in 1861, at the time that Abraham Lincoln had just been elected president. But Abe hadn't yet been inaugurated, and there's a faction that wants to rub him out before the inauguration takes place. Lincoln is the tall target of the title, and Dick Powell is trying to locate the would-be assassin or assassins who he suspects may be on board the same train as Lincoln going to Washington. It's a very taut little thriller running only about an hour and 15 minutes, and the director is Anthony Mann. That's a good omen right there. If you're going to classify this movie, you'd have to say it was a B-budget enterprise. And true, it was made by MGM for very little money, but by the standards of other studios in Hollywood at that time, it would be rated an A. If for no other reason than Dick Powell is in it, and Dick Powell didn't make B-movies in 1951. Powell, in fact, always considered this one of his best films. And in an odd coincidence, in this 1951 film about an attempted assassination of a president, the name of Powell's character in the film is John Kennedy. All this a decade before most of the world had heard the name John Kennedy, and 12 years before JFK was himself assassinated. Here with the cast, it includes a beauty named Paula Raymond, also Adolf Maju, Marshall Thompson, Ruby Dee's in it, and Florence Bates. We now bring you The Tall Target.